Hello, all right. We are live. Hello from me and Miss Bobby. Poke, poke. Hope you're all having a good weekend. Welcome back to the channel and another stream. Come on, Bobby. Make your sleep on my lap. Uh, uh. Hopefully you guys are having a good weekend. Excited for today's stream. Yes, I will be playing the bat chat. And yes, I will be using the wrong gun on it because bat chat's like pretty much just broken in its current state with the top gun. And I thought it would be more interesting if I actually used the gun that is admittedly worse, but it might just make the stream a little bit more interesting. And let's see if the bat chat can still cook up even when using not the strongest gun. Because even without the super strong 105, it still boasts the highest view range in tier 10, incredible mobility, some wacky armor profile areas. The gun might be a little less effective, but it's still going to be, in my opinion, probably a pretty solid tank. And I figured why not showcase it the wrong gun? Th there is a million streams and videos on the bat chat with the top gun. So let's do it this way today. I think it'll be fun. Uh, what's up, Ven, Dominica, Hold Down, Bonker, Darkman, um, Being Human, and Crying NS <laughs> NSX, uh, Tiger. I'm just going to say Tiger because I don't know how to like uh, pronounce that first word. But uh, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining me today. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. And yeah. Oh, bound shirt makes him. <laughs> oh my gosh, bonker. <laughs> Shaking my head. Uh, thank you, Fanis, for showing Bobby at the start. Of course, of course. If Bobby's here, I will always show her. Hey, Fanis, hey, Bat Chat Stream. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, let's do Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, We all know the Bat Chat's good when it's fully upgraded. So, yeah, I've streamed it many times. It's cool. Uh, I just wanted to try showcasing a different version of the Bat Chat. Uh, but before we jump into games, let's just quickly check the differences between the two guns be pretty uh important so if we compare the top gun to the stock gun on the bat chat which by the way is apparently a tier 9 gun fun fact the aiming time on the top gun is almost a second better <sighs> Oh, wait, no, 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 stock gun, stock gun, right? No, no, yeah, top gun. Top gun has an aim time almost one second better. It goes from 3.5 to 2.6. So, dispersion's the same, aim time's way worse. Yes, that means this gun kind of sucks in terms of accuracy. It, it kind of sucks. Uh, which you would not expect because the gun has less damage per minute then or uh oh, actually it has more dpm never mind I, I get confused when i'm looking at them in reverse order it does have a little bit more dpm a shorter magazine reload a shorter intraclip between shells it goes from 3.2.8 uh, to 2.5 standard four shells in the magazine cool it has better ap pen by three degrees but it has 11 degrees uh <laughs> 11 penetration worse on its apcr and the top gun gets heat. So the top gun gets 321 heat. This one only gets 310 APCR. APCR is by far, in my opinion, a worse ammo type because of the shell normalization. It just doesn't work as well as heat on, on penning. But uh, at least you can shoot through tracks with this. So, I mean, that, there's the plus. Of course, the biggest difference between the top gun and the stock gun would be the alpha damage. You go from 350 up to 270, which, if I'm not mistaken, 270 is the worst alpha damage in tier 10. It may be mis mistaken, but I believe 270 is the worst alpha damage in tier 10. So not the best alpha damage and four shells in the magazine with the 2.5 inch clip. It's basically just a way worse TVP gun. Uh, but what still gets me is the almost one second worse aim time. And that makes a huge difference. So it's going to be a point blank bop gun. Basically, you want to be very close to your targets in order to utilize it. And you just got to pull up on them, dump four shells and run away, which you have a two and a half second inch clip. That means it's going to take you, yeah, seven and a half seconds to dump all of your damage. Assuming you're not using the consumable, which is really important on this gun. So seven and a half seconds. I don't need the duration equipment. I need the cooldown equipment because, yeah, that's more important. So let me just make sure that correct. Okay, yeah, let's jump into it. Let's jump into some games. We're going to make logic. Yes, <laughs> we're in a land of Narnia time. We watch fans clap people even with a stop gun. I did have like one 5K game, 5K game when I was warming up um, a few minutes ago. That was pretty funny. Uh, but the, the gun was trolling me a lot. So yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we can still do well. That's the challenge for today. The challenge for today is to break like maybe 6,000 damage with the stock gun at some point. If possible, get an ace. I don't know if that's really going to be the case. I'm still just going to focus on trying to play well and show 
how you can play the tank. To be fair, if you can play the stock gun well, you'll have absolutely no problem working the three shot, which in my opinion is basically superior in almost every way. But hey, this one does have slightly better damage per minute. Isn't that a lovely? But the thing with autoloader, sometimes it's nicer having that alpha so you don't have to poke as often to deal the damage. That's not going to be the case for a stock fat shot. All right. So we get two early shots in right off the bat. AMX 50B on the enemy team is poking forward. We get a ricochet on that troll front. And so that gives me three shells already. And we are already getting YOLO'd by a Leo here who does track me. And I do not have any support, but he does not know I'm on a reload, fortunately, I think. Yeah, if that Leo stays there, he's going to get cooked, is my opinion. So let's see if we can start cooking this Leo. Perfect. We have three shots here. One shot, two shots. It's taken a while, but we are slowly racking up the damage here. The Sheridan's gonna try shooting at me. We get a shot into him. All right, Sheridan's dead. Four shells is helpful there. So we lost half our hit points, but we did manage to clear out the Sheridan with the crossfire of my teammates over on this side. That's why I was able to poke confidently on the outside lane there. And also bring the Leo down to 500 hit points. Now the rest of my team is kind of wandering in Narnia right now. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually get out of here. I think her Jaeger might be AFK. I'm gonna see if I can escape. I should have ran away right away, to be honest, but I thought I had a couple more players with me at the time. I should still be able to escape, I think. And yes, we do manage to escape into safety. Lovely. So, the enemy team's probably gonna be a bit distracted. Oh, that aim time is so long. Enemy team's probably gonna be a little bit distracted on her AFK Yag, and I wanna capitalize on that, but let's see. Okay, the Waffle and Thriller picks up a clear there. We do have double caps. The 50B might pull forward or backwards here. I don't know. I may not stick around in this vicinity. As a decent crossfire here on the 50B. One shot. Two shots. APCR for the clear. There we go. Perfect. We managed to pick up a clear on him. So that's 3,000 damage already. We kind of cooked so far. 3k damage up 2-0 or 2-1 on caps. But my teammates are not necessarily in the best positioning right now. So we still have to take things quite easy over on this side. Minerato does get spotted up by what looks like the majority of the enemy team. While our other dude over here... Okay, well, the entirety of the enemy's remaining forces are on this side. Don't quite have the height to shoot from here. But what I might be able to do in a moment is if this Waffenträger overextends slightly, we might be able to push some high explosive shells into him. So one HE shell to the Waffle who doesn't have a spall. Two HE shells, maybe. Messed that one up, unfortunately. I'm gonna use this hill as cover. We're gonna pop a couple more shots into this M60 while we're at it. Nice. I mean, use that rock as cover and just pull down from here and get safe because I don't have any allied support. So, doing my job as a rat chat should. Being a little pest. Now we run away and we repeat. I have four HE shells left, which means I can probably HE clip the Waffle, but the BZ could kill me if I'm not careful. So, I'm gonna take a pretty wide approach here with a priori prioritizing my survival more than anything. But, oh, would you look at that? The BZ dropped down. Okay, perfect. This is a perfect opportunity for me, guys. Let's let's see what four high explosive shells will be able to do to this man here. All right, one HE. Perfect. Oh, he's jumping for the cap. No, I should have stayed up top and just like farmed. I could have had 5k that game. Not a bad first game. Uh, My team was a bit weird there, but they went for caps instead of Instead of trying to fight the enemy all that much, 4,700 damage, which is only a second class, really? Oh gosh, it's gonna be hard to ace this tank. Uh, but hey, we, we kind of cooked, guys. We kind of cooked. But you did see the accuracy. It's kind of it's kind of meh. Like, I have to be really close in order to make the shots hit. And then, like, that second HE shot on the Waffle Superstructure, I mean, that one just, I think, completely missed. I did rush it because I don't want the BZ to HE me there, obviously. Uh, but not a bad first game. <laughs> Good decent Czech Republic, Miss <laughs> Miss Fatness. I'm not using. I, I'm not used to uh, catch your streams live. Just wanted to tell you, <laughs> kind regards. Uh, thank you very much, TK. Appreciate that. Hey, Maria, how's it going? <laughs> Let's go. Stock bad chat supremacy. Yes. Been a while. Are you playing NA? What's What's the delay? Get in red team. LOL can try. Uh, yes, I do play in the North American server. The delay, I actually have no clue. It's whatever it's whatever YouTube server feels like delaying it that day. Because that's the only delay that is on my streams is natural latency between the packages sent from OBS to YouTube server. All right. Let's see what I can do this battle. Good news is they only have a Vicar CR going med side, or I hope. They don't have any super fast heavy, so I actually think I could cross corner relatively safe here. Good game. Thank you very much, His Royal Steak, for the $2 donation. Cents for Appreciate his royal that. Steak. 
Good game. All right, so I'm gonna cross all the way into the corner right away. Try and get some early spots up. There is that extremely high view range on the bat chat. We were able to spot the oat from all the way back here with no problem. We we're also able to spot up the E100 from back here, no problem. I mean, yeah, it, it, it's it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy just how much view range the bat chat has. Okay, let's put one APCR shell into the e lower plate there. Take a blind shot and pull into cover. I have a 55A with me as well, so we should be chilling over on this side. We have full corner control. The one thing I'll need to watch out for is tanks like the 183 and whatnot. It does look like our T55A has has done has done griefed himself a little bit here. Oh no, I was gonna nuke the grill, but he pulled it into cover just in time. No, well, he was in cover just in time before getting himself full health over there. And the enemy team might retake corner. Actually, I gotta pull back all the way into the corner. You can see where that E100's positioning is. He'll be able to crossfire me out soon. And I just wasted my massive consumable. Okay. So, I'm gonna ignore the 100 for now and see if I can get shots over on the 183. There's the 183. All right, one shot into the 183. One ricochet into the 183. I'll have to load APCR to pen him, by the way. And, okay, two out of four. Very good use of my magazine there. My allies are still sitting back a whole lot here, but the 100 has backed up a bit, so that's good news. Our E100, unfortunately, did also happen to get himself nuked though, so that's not good news. And the 183 could still be in the vicinity, but I'm gonna see if I can start dealing with this 57. Let's put a quick shell into that 57 heavy there. Just wanna take some of the pressure if possible off of my E100, because I really wanna make sure our E100 stays alive, if if at all possible. Enemy Vickers CR also being kind of aggressive down here. There's the enemy 57, let's put a quick shell into him. I might trade a shot or two with this 57 here. We have the same interclip here. I just want to get his HP down and I'll pull back in the cover. Maybe not the best trade to make, all things considered. Oh, that E100 might try aging me if I'm not careful here. So I'm going to have to pull back into the corner. Hopefully without getting nuked by a 183, who does so happen to be behind me. So that's fortunate for me. And all right, one shot into the 183 here. Two shots into the 183. Three shots into the 183. Four shots into the 183. That puts me at just on the 3K and we should win. Nice. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this result, to be honest. I'm going to pull across with the 183s on reload so I can put myself in a position to cross out this E57 heavy here. He was fired twice, so he can't even kill me. All right, one shot, two shot, should be able to pick up a clear shot here, three shots, and we could also put a shot into the C100s. Oh, okay, okay, I see how it is, E100, you just had to turn back for me. Oh, and you got nuked by Yag in the process, good stuff. Alrighty, so Monsieur E100 is chilling over here. All right, aim. Yo, we hit those. All right, nice. Well, got to play corner. It was pretty easy since the enemy team didn't have all that much to hold corner. And so since their team got baited into overextending on our E100, that basically spelled the demise of their game there. You, you definitely don't ever want to push the ditch and unless it's like late game and you have that map control. Doing that early game most of the time is an instant death sentence and basically that's what happened to their team. Our Yag provided excellent cover fire there on the heavy side, so good job to that Yag as well. Um, our 55A went on an exploration. He's probably the type of guy that goes into chat after and is like, found him. <laughs> Mr. Fanis, I'm sorry, too tired for me. <laughs> it's okay. It was just funny. Um, I love how unnecessarily long the stock gun looks. Dude, it's longer. It has less alpha, but it has a second worst aim time. I need answers right now. <laughs> hey, Fanis, and what blitz? The only game you play. Also, how's school going? Oh, well, uh, Ozdog, thank you. I, I actually graduated. My graduation is like in May. I may go to that. I probably will, even though I already graduated, but you know. Um, but yeah, I guess you could say it went well. It, it did go well. I graduated with honors, so I'm happy with that. Um, I mean, at the current matchmaker, you don't really want to waste a single hit point unless you're fatness. Uh, unless you're mean, you're a damaged, greedy piggy. But I had a feeling we were probably going to win that based on positioning, so... I had a little bit of confidence in my teammates there. Otherwise, I would not recommend trading with a 57 Heavy that has the same interclip, but like an extra 150 alpha. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we can spot up for the start of this game. Now, my team is split here. You can see we actually have the majority of our team kind of going in towards town. And I probably will not fully commit to a hill fight here. Only reason being that our 140 is AFK. Whoa. Our 140 is AFK. I don't know if this dude spotted me or not. Okay, batch out view range is going insane. This dude got drove into a rock, and so he should be able to get... Oh my gosh. 
One clipped. We one clipped him, I think. I don't know if anyone else shot him, but he basically got one clipped by me because of the double fires into the fuel tank there. We might be able to hold hill, actually. We just might be able to hold hill after that. I don't know. Confenzer and Super Bunker are both in town. Most of the enemy team is not. Okay, here's a TI2. Let's put a quick shot into his tank there. Don't have any more shots on him. Um, you know what? I'm going to help my allies clear out town. I think that's going to be the play here. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's push into town here with my team. Help our super bunker out and hopefully pick up some clear shortly. So, well, actually, you know what? Maybe that's not the player. Our um, M103 did did get kind of wrecked over on this side, didn't he? Did I get spotted for that? I don't think I did. The 183 is going to cross. All right. Let's pre aim this corner here. Pop, quick track shot into this man's. Second shot into this man's. Two, two 270 shots. Third shot into this man's. And let's put a quick shot into this dude and just run away. Our 183 is here. I don't want to abandon him. I want to provide him with some degree of support. So as long as the 183 is supporting us, we'll be okay on this side. I need to wait till the Confenzer or Conqueror both fire their guns. I don't think they did either. Uh, but you know what? At this point, my priority is going to be killing the Bunker here. So let's focus on killing the Bunker. Another shot. Oh, okay. Okay, buddy. I see how it is. Okay, 183, it's your, turn to, it's your time to shine. Buddy's got to get out of here before this KPZ gets greedy for the kill. All right, well, took my team a little while there, but hey, we do manage to clear out town. I did lose a lot of hit points for it. But at the same time, we should be able to take double cap here and clear out the KPZ shortly. So that's what I'm banking on at the moment. All right, let's put another shot to this dude here. He's looking for me, I think. There we go, 140 have the clear. Good stuff, dude. And we do lose hill, but we should be able to take a... Two dollars from fake name. Try events instead of CS. <laughs> Try events instead of CS, CS Camelot. I appreciate the donation to fake name, but I'm probably not gonna go with the Camelot vents uh, combo. I think calibrated shells is like a must on basically all autoloaders in the game. And yeah, not running it and not being able to pen a shot here and there because of that can be one of the biggest ways to lose your tank unnecessarily or even lose a battle. So, oh no, I didn't think the I-7 would be here. Let me wait to see if this I-7 pulls down the hill. Come on, pull down the hill, dude. Pull down the hill. If the I-7 pulls down the hill, I clear the M60, but the I-7 is not committing. Yeah, that's right, commit. There we go. Okay, I'm going to try and sneak cap C and kill the M60 while I'm at it. That's going to be my plan for now. So let's see if we can do that. That will be really valuable to my teammates right now, so let's do it. They should be able to clear the TI-2 out, I think. There we go. Quite clear here. Start capping C. I'll see if I can also spot this IS-7 moving into town at all. Okay, there's the IS-7. And I'll need to be really on top of my game if we're going to have a chance of winning this. I will be able to recap C. And I'll have to kill the TI-2 here. Hopefully our 1 doesn't die too quickly. Oh boy, that's not good. Alrighty. Well, we know where the TI-2 is at, at least. We're going to just have to hope for the best, guys. We're going to have to hope for the best here. I'm just going to have to send it in on this TI-2. Okay, we got the cap. Got double caps here. Double caps and one IS-7 who may YOLO me from straight forward or not. I'm not really sure. So I'm going to set myself up in a position to kind of spot him around this corner. If he does pull up behind me. Alrighty. And he can chase after me all he likes. I just have to cap stall here. Come on. Let me get the cap stall. No, he's got a cap stall for the win, isn't he? No, that's... Okay, the ice is being smart about it. Nope, 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 nope. I was smarter. <laughs> we barely got the cap there. Holy my goodness. Okay. The sneaky plays. The sneaky gamer plays. Let's go. 5,500 damage. Not my ace. 1,500 base XP and it was not my ace. Dang it. I was hoping I'd get my ace there. Uh, yeah, I got pretty close to the 6k mark. I'm wondering if I did one clip that 54. I have to check. Yeah, 1650 hit points with four shots. Oh my gosh. I actually one clipped someone because of the double fuel tank shots there. Woo, sweaty game, but that was a good battle. Uh, still cooking. Let's go. Alrighty. Risk speaking, longer gun means the gun probably w wobbles more, explaining the longer aim time. At least that's what I think. I, I feel like lo longer barrels generally are a little bit more accurate than your chode guns, but, uh... <laughs> I mean, they, the guns usually have a pretty good amount of stabilization in them. Good evening, good evening, good evening, welcome. 
Greetings from Malaysia. 4 a.m. Fat is happy here and hope you have a great Good evening. Uh, good good morning to you. I hope you you had a lot of sleep and are just waking up early rather than staying up late for uh streams or anything. Uh well played. Thank you very much. First class. Huh? I know all of that cooking for first class. I can't believe it. Okay, let's see what we can do this game. So so far, we've done pretty good. A few pretty well played battles here and there making the gun work it really is about just moving the tank around that's like if you master that in the bat shot you're not going to have too many problems uh even if you are running the less than ideal gun on the tank and so enemy team have a 4005 over here they have okay 140 this is a bad idea i'm just going to pull out right now because realistically speaking their whole team's going to be yellowing that side so i'm going to help my team start pressuring this right hand side here and I'm going to try and help them. Let's wait for this I-7 to shoot his gun. Good stuff. All right. One shot towards the I-7 here. Not quite able to fully clip him just yet. Let's put another shot towards the I-7 here. APCR maybe. Oh, oh my lag. Lag. All right. Another shot. Let's just use this dude as a meat shield. Our typer is receiving the push on that side. I'm waiting for the 50B to clip out. And then I have like a very small brain but fun idea. Okay. Listen to this. You ready? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. One HE shot, 390. Two HE shots, 360. Three HE shots, 800 in total. Fourth HE shot, that was well over 1100 damage there. And oh, I gotta pull out of this 405's line of fire here. Teammates, 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 teammates. Oh my gosh, he damages my rack. Someone please just kill this dude. <laughs> please don't let me die. Thank you. There's four of you. How did it take so long to kill the 50B there? Well, the experiment went um, questionably well. I uh, kind of got nuked for it because I thought my allies would be able to nuke a 50B that side onto them faster, but I guess that just wasn't the case. Anyhow, once we clear out this 405, I think we'll be pretty solid here. Is 205B awake? Oh, he is. That's bad news for me. That's really bad news. And I'm spooted. And I'm spooted. I'm spooted and there's a 205B on me. I'll just spot from around this corner here. Okay, he is yellowing for me. Interesting play, 205B. I hope you do realize you can't outmaneuver a bat chat, dude. As long as I don't get killed from behind, that is. Which is a very big possibility here. No! What is my team doing? Guys, you gotta yo you got you can't kill the 907 or M60? Come on! <laughs> there we go. We might actually still lose this, by the way. Unless our WZ can clear this M60 out, there's a chance. Oh, you got it. Never mind, you don't. Well, if our WZ pushes the 2 and 5B, we're okay. Um, okay, well, yeah, I got a little greedy with the HE on the on the 50B. Probably wasn't the smartest play, but I just wanted to see how much HE damage I could do with four HE pens, and I think we did a lot. I'll check in the post-game stats there. Okay, this 2 and 5B is not the greatest. That's good news. Oh, that's really good news. Okay, as long as our W... <laughs> WZ's getting trolled. It's like, as long as our WZ cooks here, you got it. Nice. We should win. We should win. Funny game. Funny, funny game. Like, they seriously, the M60 was trying to shoot at me. I could see the 907 there. I was hoping my allies would just kind of pressure these two, but I guess it took them a while to kill the 405. But we did get the W. Good stuff. Congrats on the graduation. I want to thank you for getting me Ten from 2.2k average damage player to 3.2k average damage player last year in about only 12 months to one year break and SDM was hitting hard. Oh, SDog, thank you very much for the donation. Really appreciate that. I'm glad that the content was able to provide you a basis for improvement. And 3.2k is a very, very solid area to be at in terms of... Um, in terms of average damage, good stuff. Hopefully once the SBMM is out next update, you'll be able to more comfortably cook. Uh, okay, 1588 HE damage to the Amex 50B. So almost as much. Okay, what is the high explosive alpha on this then? I know I kind of threw that game a little bit by being greedy for damage, but uh, 350 high explosive alpha. Oh, okay, okay, I see. So it gives you about 1400 average damage with HE. But a high roll here and there might might help a lot. That's not too bad. I was hoping for like 380 high explosive alpha, but that'd be a little broken. I don't know. The TVP has for like 400. So I feel like we could do it. <laughs> Team is cooking. I guess they did cook. <laughs> Batchat vs tank. Batchat is very solid. Very, very solid. All right. Good news. Enemy team do not have... Um, any tier 10 medium light tanks, it's me and an STB. Oh, matchmaker. You really gave the enemy team two tier 9 med lights, and we have two tier 10 med lights. Thank you very much. That makes my job a lot easier this game, probably. Um, speaking of probably. 
<laughs> I was not lying when I said this gun's accuracy definitely leaves a lot to be desired sometimes. That one second off on the aim time is actually crazy. Anyways, this dude should not be able to spot me. So one shot, two shot, three shot. Nice. We managed to pick up a nice little farm on him. Looks like they have some tank destroyers over here as our STB did get nuked. I don't know if they were trying to shoot at me and hit him. If that was the case, I am sorry. Um, and looky what I have found over here. It's a wild grill. All right. One high explosive shell here. Two high explosive shells here. Maybe one AP shell, but oh no, that's an ISA. Okay, and that's a TIA2 as well. So your boy gotta get kinda out of here just to... Oh my gosh, he's very much gotta get out of here. Okay. Let's just pray I don't get nuked by a Yag on the crossing. That's gonna be my only hope here. <sighs> he doesn't see me. 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 Let's go. We got out. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was scary. Dude, their whole team took like 20 years to appear over there. That's crazy. Okay, so... I managed to successfully make my great escape. Thank heavens for the bad chat's insane mobility there. My teammates are playing the big brain cap battle here, so that's cool. Um, and I think I'll just provide some cover fire from up top. I should be okay doing that. Like, see, this DI2 is overextending a little bit, and... Okay, I might run supercharged. Loki, this gun handle, uh, shell velocity is not too peak. Okay, nothing can spot me just yet. The TI2 is kind of sending it, though, and... Oh, what?! We capped out! No way! <laughs> Was not expecting that! Oh my gosh. Please play, please play with better gun to compare. I mean, I've done several streams with the better gun before. We all know how we know how 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 solid the better gun is. The whole point of this uh, this game is to run this uh, stream is to run the stock gun. I'm putting supercharged on. I noticed the shell velocity is pretty trash, and I'm not a huge fan of that for a gun where you're going to be shooting a lot on the move on moving targets. So, I wonder, I wonder when we're gonna nerf the bat chat. <laughs> Imagine we're gonna just remove the 105 and leave it with the 270 gun, dude. Oh gosh, the community would be so mad because I know how loved the bad chat is. Hopefully that's not the case, but just imagine. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't imagine, actually. Imagining bad idea. Pretend you never heard me. All right. Let's see. Let's go for an early spot run here. All right. Oh, -ho. we find ourselves a 60 TP. Pop one shot. Pop two shot. Pop three shot and maybe a hat shot for the last one. Nice. All right, so we get 1136 damage into the 60 TP there. Dude didn't even make it out of spawn. Also, do you see that camo rating slash view range on the bat chat? How just insanely good it is? Like the 60 TP is completely blind to my presence. And now he's just stuck in Narnia basically at this point. So enemy 4005 may have overextended slightly. I'm gonna keep spotting this crossing up a bit. The 260 seems to have escaped here. What I may do I have two options. Actually, you know what? My option should be rotating back. As you can see, my teammates are going to get way overmatched on this side. There's a Leo kind of crossfiring them. I need to go back and provide support there because once that side falls, it's kind of game over. And uh, once these, yeah, if these heavy things die, we're, we're going to lose this. So I got to be really fast on my rotation. 20 check here. Karun from Brewer oh, Down. Oh, oh, hey, oh, Fatness. Oh, oh, oh. Well, well, well. Hello. Thank you very much, uh, Rodan, for the donation. Really do appreciate that. All right. One shot, two shot, three shot. And not enough time for a fourth shot, but we do manage to make the bat chat pull down a little bit there. So that's good news. I'm going to see, or not bat chat, PTA. But we are losing tanks. They're dropping like flies all over the map here. So there's not going to be, I don't think there's going to be too much for me to do this battle before it's over. I'm going to see if I can at least start killing this Leo P uh, PTA here. One shot, two shot. Oh, no, I love rolled. Wait, wait, wait. I, was, I have a third shot. No, I threw. Dude, I'm so used to playing three shot bat shot. I completely forgot I had a four shell in the magazine. How silly of me. How absolutely silly of me. Anyhow, I need to kill this Leo and this IS-7 here shortly so my teammates can cook up on the other side. Let's pick up a clear on this dude. Very good stuff indeed. And now we got to pen three shots onto this IS-7 without hopefully low rolling too much. Nice. No low rolls here. And there we go. That's where running around with the four shot was actually kind of advantageous for me there because I was able to pick up an easy clear on that IS-7 and the PTA, even though they were both kind of out of the range for the three shot if I tried killing both at the same time there. Alrighty. So here's the 263. The Kampf Panzer is pushing in. I don't have much for support here. Kampf Panzer is pushing in. We do manage to track him and bait him a little bit. We do manage to track him again. Track him one more time here. 
And we'll track him one more time. He gets taken out. Now I can run from this 263 here. Good stuff. Four and a half thousand damage dealt. Do love the permit tracking that this gun provides. And now it's going to be up to me and the grill to kill this 263 or 60 TP. So our grill's sending it at this point. So I think I'm going to help out here. Let's put, let's aim for some track shots on this 263 maybe. All right, one shot, two shot. Nice pen grill. Track shot maybe. Unfortunately, my ally does get taken out there. And I'm going to have to high roll my next magazine if I'm going to kill this 263 here. So we do have the 263 kind of stuck in the open for the time being. Let's hope we don't get high rolled with an HE shell or something here. I'm going to try and use this 263 as a bit of cover fire from the 60 TP here. Nice. The 60 TP has no clue what he's doing. Let's go. We cook. We cook. All right. Two shot. Down to zero on caps. I have to kill the 60 TP at all costs, basically. So here's what I'm going to do. The 60 TP seems kind of lost a little bit here. Nice. Two shots. Out of AP shells, unfortunately. That is very big unfortunate indeed. If we do not ace this game, I will be mad. I should have enough time to clear the 60 TP out here, while I'm, even though I'm on a reload for the time being. Lovely stuff. All right. One shot. Okay, the two 60 TP is lost, and boom. Pro gameplay. Pro gameplay. <sighs> hmm. That should be an ace. That should be an ace. Seven and a half thousand damage. That should be an ace. It indeed is an ace. Seven thousand five hundred damage. We got four kills. Almost eighteen fifty base experience. And cook, I did. Cook, I did. We cooked. <laughs> that was a saucy battle. I think I made all of the right rotations there. Do you see why it was so important for me late game there to start isolating tanks out and picking up kills? The PTA, the IS-7, the KPZ, focusing, focusing on clearing guns was so valuable because then in that late game, I was able to take the easy one versus two at the end. Fortunately, their 60 TP looks like he was playing with a lot of lag, but uh, even so, even though the 60 TP was lost, I would say it was still a very well played battle there. Fortunately, the grill kind of just sent it and like was a perfect meat shield. So I didn't have to take a shot because if I took a shot from the 263, I would have risked becoming a one shot to the 60 TP, which is why I didn't want to poke him yet. I was actually going to clear the two, uh, 60 TP first, but since the grill sent it, I was like, why not? Um, yeah, seven and a half thousand damage, man. I, I mean, I'll take that. 7.5 on a stock bad shot, man. I mean, come on. <laughs> Ah, yes, the food is ready. Indeed, the food is ready. Matt's lost at sea. Yeah, Dragon, he was very lost. <laughs> Yo, it only took me 30 minutes to get the ace and the 6k plus damage mark from Bat Shot. Whew, I need a little breather. That was a that was a fun game. I will admit, man, the Bat Shot is always going to be a lot of fun. It is just mm, a very, very solid tank. And... Even with the trashy gun, if you just know how to position it properly and the enemy team make a few big mistakes like they did that last battle, you can still really capitalize on that and cook up a lot of a lot of dinner. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we did. We did indeed cook. Smash that like button for the bat chat ace. Let's get that 100 plus like mark. Let's do it. Let's do it. I am feeling confident, which is a bad sign because once I get confident in the bat chat, I start yoloing like an idiot and getting myself killed. So let me spot up the mid here. Just because it seems pretty obvious to me that my team most likely are going to go town side. So I want to see if the enemy team is going to go town side as well. And so that's why I'm going to start spawning up right off the bat here. I don't really like med side all that much from this spawn. Because I feel like it gets overrun a lot easier. So I'm, that's why I'm kind of just going entrance of town. And as you can see, no one has been spotted yet. So that tells me right away where the enemy team is not really in the vicinity. I'm going to try and avoid the cap when I go for this little bit of a spotting position here. Okay, so there's the Sheridan. I'm gonna see if anything crosses and we'll just wait a little bit wait for the enemy team to maybe overextend start pushing somewhere and see if i can capitalize on that the, the important part about the bat chat is just to not overextend early in it okay i should probably be spotted by now oh no no bat chat actually has good camo well the patent might spot me if i shoot at the patent i'm definitely getting spotted oh wow amix 50b fires once fires twice fire one more time and i'll take a third there we go fires three times Fires four times. Okay, so here's what I'm actually going to do. Oh, gosh. Auto-aim is trolling me a little bit here. All right, one shot into this. 
Oh dear, that's not good. Alright, alright, alright. Let's track this dude, maybe. Oh dear. Oh, gun. Oh, gun. Oh, gun. Oh, gun. Thank you. Well, that works. The bat check came back for me. Uh, that's when it's worthwhile not using auto aim, by the way. <laughs> but I wanted to kill the 183 first. He was a bigger threat to my team, so that's why I was target prioritizing there. Just because the yo brought him down to a, a one clip for me, so I wanted to make sure we clear him out quickly before he could nuke any of my teammates. But, uh, also, I got kind of screwed over by the auto aim. All right. Enemy bat chat may or may not be rotating back over towards the side of the map, so I do need to watch out for that. Uh, there's the Sheridan. One shot into the Sheridan here. Two shots into the Sheridan. Ooh, that was a bad shot to take from the Patton, and we missed the second shot here. And we missed the third. I thought he was going to pull forward on me more. Now, they have a lot of healthy tanks, and we don't. So, XM is maybe pushing through entrance of town. I should push back into the dunes, start dealing with maybe this bat chat here. I'm gonna target so my allies are at least aware of the bat shot's positioning, right? All right, all right. Here's the bat shot, the on. Okay, the yo fired once here. Put a quick shot into the bat shot here. Let's hope the auto aim screws him over a little bit. All right, quick shot towards him now. Also getting trolled for a second time here. I'm just gonna reload the magazine at this point as the XM is in the entrance of town and our Conqueror 57 are all pushing up. So I need to be here to support my team right away. Let's think about this. Nice clear by the heavies. The heavies are all working together, and that's providing my team with a very nice foundation here to rotate around. So, let me see. Bat Chat's still going to be a priority target, uh, but the XM may or may not push into my crossfires here. So, let's put a quick shot towards the XM here. There we go. One shell into Mr. XM. Enemy Bat Chat does pick up a clear on one of my allies, unfortunately. Enemy Sheridan also pushing up pretty aggressively here, but I do not have shots on him. That XM is still YOLOing in. One more shot on the XM here. Let's just reload the magazine. I think our 57's toast at this point. I really shouldn't bother with them too much. But I will need to help out our Conqueror here. So. Conqueror might become toast too in a moment, to be honest. The Bat Chat should still be my priority right now. Bat Chat and or Sheridan. Both, 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 both need to be cooked here. So, I'm gonna focus the Sheridan first, because he's... Oh, okay. Well, I might have just thrown this. Okay, now it's down for the one versus one. This should be interesting. Let me think about this. I have two minutes and 50 seconds to clear this man's. He can clear me faster with three shots than I can clear him with four. That's the problem. That's a pretty significant problem in my opinion, especially if he still has the reload boost consumable, then he's definitely gonna catch me out and clear me here. Oh no, it's Jover. I don't, I don't even know if I really have the alpha damage here to clear him. Let's track him maybe. Oh, it's bad, Jover. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, it's Jover. Of course the first one has the ricochet. And why is he YOLOing there? <laughs> why, why would he YOLO that way? The timing of that was terrible. If I could have pulled him into a Dunes engagement, made him overextend a little bit, we would have been fine. But that first shot ricocheting basically just screwed over the whole game there. Did my best. Um, oof. Yeah, the, the platoon on my team didn't really do all that much. That's why it's like, it, if they have a lineup like that, it's better if your team can kind of just all go town and force them to push into you. That way you can engage them on flat ground for two grand final games in a row. I know, Dragon. I know. And I did not win this one. I'm sad. Oh, if that first shot just hadn't bounced. My, my, one, my one wish for this gun is to just decrease its dispersion and give it the same aim time as the 105. If that happened, I low-key, like would kind of make this my secret, like, uh, my secret pleasure type of gun in that kind of way. <laughs> it was, it was a good attempt. It was a good attempt. Stream type, nah, he would have not, he would have not have had enough time to react to that. Either way, it was just like, he just randomly happened to drive in that direction and it worked out in his favor, but, um, it wouldn't have worked out in his favor if my first shot at it had at least penned, but it didn't. Also, I think I had, what was it? I, did I have 800 HP? I think he kind of high rolled there on the first shot. I don't remember. Well, no, no. The Batchet does a thousand clips. So, yeah, he probably did fine. Perfectly average damage there. It was just like I was caught out rotating at the wrong time, basically. All right. 907 pulling up. 907 um, already getting kind of nuked. Dude is already kind of overextended a little bit over here. And I, I will want to be careful about overextending myself. This 907 is looking for me. Do I have support? In theory, yes. In reality, I don't know. 
But what I do know is this 907 might pull back a little bit here since I've pushed up all the way. And okay, that's a Minerato and a Minerato Junior. I don't want to deal with those tanks right now. Uh, type, that's not smart. Oh, type, that is very not smart. But you can pull up to the left and you'll be hauled down. Trust me, that that's where you want to play that. <gasps> <laughs> oh dear. Don't tell me. Don't tell me that's what I think I see all the way into our spawn. Oi, 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 oi. Uh, actually, this is not very good for my team. If the 50B clips, I'll be fine. I need it on the dump is full mag here. Because we're not going to win corner. We don't even have enough tanks to win corner right now. Okay, the 50B, start clipping, start clipping, start clipping. Boom, one shot to the 50B. We managed to bait him. I have a longer, uh, shorter entry clip than him. So let's just reload right now so we can start dealing with this 50B. My team need to kill him very quickly here. So that's what I'm going to try and do. Excuse moi, 50B. Young, young Mr. Bashatian would like to know your location, good sir. 340 on the first HE shell here. And 335, and 376 for the clear, and let's see if we got a lower plate shot on this E100, which we might get a side shot here, sadly it was not penable. But it's okay, nice. The C100 also overextended, fortunately their heavy is way overextended here, and our Rat 71 is taking a, a trillion years to get his tank taken out here, so. W team, W team. I wish I could have farmed more HE into the 50B, but dude was so scared of me, he decided to dive bomb our whole team. I can't really blame him, to be honest. Well, 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 what do we have here if it isn't a wee little CC? Hello, CC. All right, don't low roll me. Thank you so much. Hello. All right, you can kill me now. That's fine. I had my good game. JK. JK. You are not permitted to cook me. Cooking me is not acceptable. Oi, 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 oi. Where are you running off to now, laddie? This is your time to die. Yeah, say farewell. Alright. K91, come back here as well. I will finish you. Nice. Oh, that was funny. Uh, wow, shout out to my TDs. Guys, 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 guys. If you're pushing on a flank, be careful not to overextend into the enemy spawn as their heavies did there because, yeah, like quite easily a rat chat like me can rotate around and just start dumping magazines into you and then like tanks that are dug into spawn are a lot harder to kill versus you yoloing through the open to try and get to them and so that's why my team won so quickly there shout out to the ice and type they actually survived for a long time on that side <laughs> worst tvp basically it is yeah uh, Bob Ashway is, uh, is so easy to 4k. I basically did it in the conk. Now everyone just rerolls and drops 4k. Unfortunately, the truth. That's why I've never wanted to reroll or do not plan on rerolling at any point in the future. Especially when I've invested so much time into getting my account stats up. Um, yeah, but you dropped every <laughs> everyone 4k'd it. It was the, that easy. Now people just cheese it and do 4k easy. Are we talking about uh, the Smurf accounts in, in uh, Sub 5K Matchmaker? <laughs> I love you. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, it's amazing how you feel like you're in the tank with Fanis and you're. <laughs> oh, really? Does it feel that way? Well, I guess that's a good thing. Anyways, let's spot the mid. This is one of my more preferred positions, especially since you can find little tank destroyers rotating around in Narnia. Uh, and you can spot both sides here. So there's the U100. Of lovely stuff. Let's see if I can spot anyone else from back here. Not yet. Okay, there's the E50M as well. Was not really expecting E50M to be there, but we can put a shot into the C100 at least. Might be spotted, so I'm going to pull back into cover in case the 183 is pre-aiming. And now we have an idea what the enemy team is doing, right? The E50M and E100 are going top. We have no one on top of my side, so I'm going to immediately reset my camo and then rotate out and help clear med side. I didn't spot any of their TDs rotating over, so they're not in the generic TDs position. As you can see, this 183 is currently in a very weird position. Um... And I would like to try and capitalize on that to start clearing out tanks like this Leopard 1 here. But as you can see, our patent did get nuked by 183. RIP to our mans here. Fortunately for me, this Leo is about to be in a whole lot of trouble. So one shot, two shot. I'm not going to bother with the HEs. I'm just going to try and pen everything. There we go. That's a thousand damage into him. So he should get taken out pretty quickly here. I still have a standard B for support and a stock E50. Which, I mean, I'm not too excited about the E50, but, 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 we can probably kill this Leo, Leo PTA here in a moment's time. 
So Leo is really overextending on me just a bit. Oh, 266, bit of a low roll, but I'll take it. Now I do have to watch out for that 183 poking me and, and nuking me here. The standard B should be able to kill the Leo 1, I think. I'm going to act like I'm on a reload and just try running away. Just to get this dude to overextend a little bit to the point where the 183 will not be able to kill me if I try counter pushing him. All right, now we can clear this Leo, I think. So there's the Leo. Bop, quick clear onto him. There's the 183 as well. All right, my teammates are kind of getting bopped over on the flank. I hope our standard B doesn't die here. I got to try and help out a little bit more aggressively. How's my flank looking? Looking all right. All righty. So, the 183 is not paying attention right now. One shot. Okay. Two shots. Okay. Three shots. Okay. And a clear. Er 233 on the kill shot. Never mind. We are not clearing about, guys. We just rolled 230 with an AP shell. Fantastic. Uh, but yeah, we managed to clear out this side. So, that's good. Well, let me see what I can do now. The Leo's going to be a priority here, but my teammates are getting cooked in spawn. I want to see if I can be able to help clear out tanks like this uh, 50 TP here. So one shot to the 50 TP. Wow, that was very unfortunate. Oh, nice. A fire, though. A fire is huge. Maybe another one. Dang it. He should be dead. That player should be dead, man. I got I got, I got, got scammed by the RNGs there. But I also have for support. A50 is pretty useless. Good to know. Right, we got to focus the E100 here. Oh my. See, this is what I'm talking about, about the gun, my dudes. <laughs> I'm not even trying to shoot the badger. I'm trying to focus the E100 so I can kill him faster here. There we go. Perfect. Okay. E50, I don't know his hit points. But he should not be the highest in the world, I think. Given that I, I haven't spotted him in a hot minute here, I think he's probably pretty low. We should spot the E100 here. Mm. Can I E100 nuke him at least? Ooh, I got spotted for that. Oh, nice. Your owner did at least nuke him. Oh, there's D50. I think he's AFK. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. So I only have four shells in the magazine here. Uh, the standard B got spotted on the rotation, though. That's not good. Yeah, who cares? I'll just have to load up APCR here and pick up a kill on this dude. All right. One shot into this man's. Two shot, and let's immediately reload and just pull back into a safer position, hopefully, for my tank here. Pop. Nice. Little jibate there. And the badger is now stuck in a pretty bad position here. I don't want my standard B to die on me, so you know what? I'll take the first shot from the standard for the standard B here. Get this dude to turn around. Oh, please, 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 please. Oh, come on. How am I not out traversing a badger here? All right. One HE shell. 2 HE shell, 438 max roll, 3 HE shell, 4 HE shell, 1100 plus damage. Yes, let's cook. Let us cook. Let us cook. Let him cook. Come on. Come on. Actually, I'm going to use APCR here because I can kill him with two shots and then I'll have enough shells to one clip the E50. So fortunately for me, the E50M's AFK. If that was not the case, we probably would have lost this. Um, but yeah. He is AFK, so not to worry. I can easily farm a win here now. I'm just going to wait till I'm reloaded in case me getting spotted near him wakes him up. And I want to make sure I'm just fully ready for the brawl when that does occur. Alrighty, let's see where this E50M is at. Hello! Let's cook. Little E50M. This game's not quite as exciting because I was farming an AFK, but it is still very amusing that, uh... It only took me like a couple of games to pull another 7k out. Oh my gosh. What is this? What even is this? Bro, I, I it doesn't feel as satisfying because I was playing against an AFK there at the end. But still, 7,780 damage, 4 kills. Holy, we cook it in the batch. <laughs> Bro, another 7k. I know, Dragon. <laughs> they got us more troll than I feel it should be. Yep, that's why I said you have to play really close quarters. Like, it's not good at distance. It's really not. It's because, um, it's because it has a one second dragon. If you did not know, the Batcha 270 alpha damage gun 
has a one second longer aim time than the three shotgun with higher alpha. It takes over a second longer to aim, like not over, like 0.9 seconds longer to aim in. It's kind of crazy. Uh, not quite as exciting. <laughs> I know. It's not quite as exciting because I was farming an AFK. And whenever there's an AFK involved in a damage game, I usually kind of just discredit it because it's like, yeah, I mean, so, I mean, clearly the E50M wasn't trying to be AFK. It looks like his game crashed, internet crashed. I don't know what the cause is for him not being able to play the rest of that game. It just doesn't feel as legit as a full on 7 7 battle the whole time. But my goodness, <laughs> cooking a gourmet meal. Yes, I have become a. French Michelin chef in the Bash of the On with the stock gun because yeah. Anyways, don't take this as proof to run the stock gun, by the way. I still full heartedly believe the the three shot gun is 100% the better option. I'm just doing this for the memes. That's all. Just memes, you know? It's working out, but it is primarily meme meme material, you know? So uh don't don't take this as a sign that you should be Oh! as a uh, sign that you should be using this gun. Nice little use of my magazine there though. Was able to farm up 700 damage on the crossing. If you didn't know, great early spotting position. Uh, the other spawn doesn't quite have such a good spotting position, so you can totally abuse it when the enemy team is not expecting you to spot there aggressively. Um, there's the patent. Okay, bash off the on, just drop down. Let's see if anyone, if this Progetto starts poking here or starts running away. All right, one shot into the frog here. Two shots into the frog here. Clear shot into the frog there. I will have to admit, this gun is like quite a lot of fun to play. I, I'm kind of enjoying it. I, I, I am. It's just something about just how fast it deals that damage is kind of just meme material. All right. So where'd that 263 go? Whoa there, laddie. You also playing a stock bat shot? I respect you for it. Let's track you in the open. One more shot. E100 done missed his shell. Bat shot, another shell into you good sir. Nice. 238. Love them low rolls. All right. Bat chat drove into a wall. 2.68 damage dealt already. See, it's always just like waiting for your opportunity to cash those tanks out and deal the damage. Um, now, I don't know which way the 100 plans I'm pushing here. But it looks like the 100 is like really miffed at me for like shooting at him earlier. Oh, oh. And he was. It did look like he was going to push up into me. But that does not appear to be the case anymore. One track shot. Very nice. Okay, why didn't I shoot APCR there? Silly me. Pick up a clear. Nice. All right, that's game over. That is game over, laddies. And this patent is yoloing. I, you know what? I respect the patent's commitment to the yolo run. I really do. Not a shame to have the clear there. Let's just do some bat, bat chat, rat chat things here. Hello, rat seventy one. Hope you're ready to get ratted on. Bop. 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 Aiming for those fuel tanks. By the way, if you look at our, where my shots were concentrated, I damaged the fuel tanks and caught them on fire there. Always aim for those fuel tanks. You can farm a little bit extra damage that way. Just a valuable skill to kind of know roughly where the fuel tanks are so you can, yeah, so you can get that extra, you know, the extra 200 or so damage on a tank. Because even if they have a fire extinguisher, they still take about 100 damage before they usually extinguish it in time. <clears throat> <laughs> 4.9k damage dealt, first class. Um, oh, this dude, I, I swear. He's uh, he's always molded at me. I don't know why. I, I guess I did something to him. Let me give him the fire emoji because, uh, yeah, buddy almost broke 2k damage that game. Impressive. Okay. Uh, hello, I don't know English. I wrote this in the translator. Could you do it directly from FV183? Uh, 183, could I play? Maybe I'll play a game at the end of the stream if that's what you're requesting. Only fatness can drop almost an 8k for memes. <laughs> Hi from Iran. Hello, hello. Iran, I mean. <laughs> Get my pronunciation correct. Um, Pan got bonked into a black hole and disappeared. Yeah. Was guy bat chat not a long time ago and stock is pretty good thanks to the intro clip and better hand and uh better handling. Uh what insane I I the, the stock gun is pretty memes, but one misconception is that it has better handling. No 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 no. This gun definitely has worse gun handling by a long shot um but it's honestly it's a pretty good stock grind if you already know how to play the bad shot so if you're good in the tier 9 and you have to play this tank stock i don't think it's actually all that bad uh i'm having a lot of fun in it actually right now there's something just fun about these little pew pew guns that uh you don't you don't get to experience very often in other vehicles okay let's see oh oh, oh. i thought the vk90s were pulling forward there so i popped my interclip boost a little bit too early 
But as you can see, my allies have, have done, done grief to this dude. All right, second shot. Not quite. All right, let's do the intercrypt reload now. We know where the prog is. 215B and 30B are over here. 60TB is in our spawn. And my teammates are, for the most part, not even on this side of the map. So, I think... Oh, 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 oh. Is that 215B overextending at all? He is overextending a little bit. Let's aim this one in as much as I can. Yeah, do you see that aim time? It's massive. All right, one more shot. Not quite. Maybe through the side of his turret ring here. There we go. We do manage to nuke the 215B there. Unfortunately, our Type 71 is probably toast here. But I think... In this regard, I probably should help our version 4 and M60 here. And Bobby is snoring. I can feel the vibrations on my on my lap. What is this? All right. So we got a wild VK90 pulling up over here. One APCR shell. Go for two APCR shells. Go for a third APCR shell on a track shot. Wait for him to use his repair kit. There we go. Another APCR track shot. Yeah, the alpha is like 240 with APCR, but it's pretty worth, in my opinion. Oh, hey, Fosh. Bye, Fosh. It's pretty worth uh, using it all the same, even if you don't roll the highest, just because, like, I was able to help clear that tank out. And this game's over. Excuse moi. Excuse moi, good sir. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Let me clear this dude out for the team. Lovely stuff. We also have a wild Fashi Poo up here. I am probably going to do maybe 2k damage this game. Unfortunately, not much more else than that. Hello, Fosh. Just let me pen, like, one more shot into you. That a boy. Thank you. All right, so this Fosh is probably toasty, toasty and warm, and I'm trying to think about where I can deal more damage here. Um, the version 4 is probably going to clear this dude out. The 60 TP is just blocking our dude, so low-key kind of clutch. And let's see if I can drop down in time to help clear out this 2 5B. Whee! Hello, 2 and 5B. Whee! Okay. I only have two shots left, but as long as I pin those two, I can pull 3k damage out this game, no problem. And I'll be happy with that. I'll be very happy with that. All right, one more shot here. And second shot. Nice. 3,300 damage there. I'll take it. Oi, boys, you're not all supposed to bounce your shells here. Wee. Wee. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I have a faster reload. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> I actually stole the kill. Let's go. Peek. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Fanis, do you think 113 GFT needs nerf? Uh, I think a little bit, yeah. I think maybe a slight traverse speed nerf. Um, the tank has a little too much mobility for super troll armor, and the fact that its gun is actually pretty wicked too, I, I think a little bit of a traverse speed nerf would balance the tank out more. I don't think they should nerf it too heavily because it's in a delicate state between being bad and OP and you know, a little bit too much on one side or the other side in terms of buffs or nerfs can basically cripple it. So I think just that reduce all that traverse, that way meds can be a little bit more effective against it. And that will definitely limit the tank's ability to play outside of just like your haul down type of tactics and stuff like that. Uh, I was gonna go for the early spot. The Leo's doing the same. I'll probably still do it anyways. And then I'll think about what I, where I wanna rotate out through here after I, dude, why? Oh my gosh, man. These players, they have a one track mind. It's like they drive in a straight line and it doesn't matter if you're if you're if you're poking the ridge to spot it They will continue driving in a straight line. Okay, so Chieftain and m60 they have three other heavy tanks unspotted two of which are uh, Or one of which is a super heavy. There's the boss shot the on I'm gonna take 23 is already dead. I was gonna say, I'm gonna take it easy till I know where their tanks are at, because I don't want to overextend right now, but I think it's safe to say most of their team will not be back here. I do want to be careful not to overextend into their spawn, though. That's the fastest way to get myself insta-killed, and that just is not very desirable. So, what I can do, though, for the start here is the Super Bunkerer is kind of overextendo just a little bit. So let's put a high explosive shell into him there. Two high explosive shells, three high explosive shells, four high explosive shells. We do 1400 damage to that con uh, conqueror there, which is a good clear for my team. That's exactly why I wanted to do the flank maneuver there through town, right? The moment I saw the Chieftain M60 and one other tank kind of pushing through mid, I basically knew that the whole team was going to be going through towards med side. Well, I didn't know, but I expected that to probably be the case, and it was the case. So that's why I was able to... 
catch these tanks out. Sorry, I was trying to use dialogue here, but what the heck is that? What the heck is that? I don't think Buddy realized I was there. All right, there we go. Another shot, 2,500 damage dealt. We can start clearing out this E100 with my teammates in a moment here. There you go, VK, good stuff, good stuff. I also have a Leo one for support. E100 just fired his cannon. Let's put a quick shell into him. Let's put a second shell into him. We're gonna clear. And let's see if this Chieftain will give me a shot or two here. One shot into the Chieftain, nice stuff. I'll make him a one shot for VK. Nice VK, excellent teamwork there. Leo and VK both rotating around with me through the enemy spawn, great plays on their part. Um, unfortunately, the enemy team is sending a Jagdpanzer up into our team here. I'll wait for him to shoot. Holy smokes, what nuke to this man? What nuke to this man's? What nuke to this man's? No, I was gonna farm the Yag. Where did he get nuked by? VK and something else. Yo, that's crazy. Actually crazy with it. All right. Hello, object. Hello. Bop, quick shell to you there. Uh, yep, object side armor goes burr. Kill tanks, mate. Eh? 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 Where? Where did that ricochet? There's nowhere for it to not pen. Okay, I hate 777 side armor, man. <laughs> we did okay there. I think about 3.6, 3.7, if I wasn't mistaken. I would have had 4K plus, oh, 3.9, if I didn't get controlled on the object 777. But hey, I'll take the dub, 4K damage dealt there. Still cooking. That poor Conqueror, man. 1400 HE is so nasty. I don't know what the HE alpha is on the, on the 105 bat chat. If it, if, but let's see, what would the HE alpha be on the 105 bat chat? Is it 390, 400, or is it like 380? I forget the HE powers on 105s, oops. Um, it might be 400, in which case, yeah, three shot bat shot on average would do less HE alpha in a magazine. So low key four shot bat shot with the stronger HE. It's only 350, but it's like 1400 average. I saw new rules in the Discord about light tank guns. Is that true? Really want to nerf gun dispersion on light tanks? Uh, what, Wargaming's official Discord? I don't know. I haven't, I don't really check that too often, to be honest. Guy actually wanted to die in that, <laughs> that May chat, huh? If you don't bat chat, you're not experienced peak blitz gameplay. <laughs> bat chat is the best, is one of the most fun tanks to play. I will admit, it is really fun. Uh, I don't play it too often nowadays because I, I just have different tanks I prefer to play, but there's something about YOLOing around in a bat chat and just catching people off guard and clipping them that is really kind of a irreplaceable experience. Even better than the TVP because the TVP suffers from that super long reload and it doesn't have the mobility camo of the bat chat uh, in tier 10. So the bat chat just feels like it's more of a menace. Let's see. Enemy team up tanks on C. They also have a 62 ray going corner. No one else has been spotted yet. Our 907 is being quite aggro over there. There's the 54, but we know their team is split a little bit here. So, is there anything I can do to help my allies out in this scenario? First thing I can do is spot up this batch on the enemy team. Good stuff. So we managed to get their batch at the drop down. Uh, the 54 did not commit. Interesting. The batch is still dropped down a bit though. So, oop. Okay, our 62A got cleared there. So what I think I'll do now is while this bat chat is clipping out my pal, I'll actually up uh, 62, dude. It's not, it's not worth, it's not worth. We are outnumbered over here. Unless you really want to die, that is. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait for my camera to hopefully reset. Hopefully that bat chat doesn't spot me. And I'm gonna get enough momentum to run through here and hopefully not get nuked in the crossing by T30, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Oh, nice. One shot to the T30. Oh, wow. I ran out of gun depression there. That's crazy. Two shots. Three shots, good stuff. Um, I am gonna get counter yellow by this 5041, but fortunately for me, he won't be able to put more than like one shot into me. Doink, I'm out of here. Wee, bye, have a nice day. Oh my. Crack shot, nope, not quite. Ooh, H-E, H-E, H-E. Okay, one H-E. Two H-E. One more AP. 
Nice. I, I hate I hated to abandon my ally there, but we were gonna get overrun as you can see by four tanks. So it was the only play left for me. Good news is though I can go back and support our Sheridan now because the T30 is gone. W clear on the on the 54E1 there. And my priority right now should probably be the 62A that's yellowing in. So 62A kind of sending it. One shot into the 62A here. Nice fire by the Sheridan. Really? I'm getting shot at from behind here. That's crazy. I do have the support of an E75, though. If this bat chat gets a little eager to start shooting me here. Okay, bat chat fired once. Oh, E75 is pushing in. Fire twice. All right, I'll take the third shot. I don't mind. We gotta pick up the clear on him anyways. So we managed to pick up that clear. Let's pull out of here before that E100 nukes me. W. Okay, nice. I'm gonna go retake a cap to make sure we don't get a cap deficit here, and then we can rotate around as needed. Perfectly done there. Do -do 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 -do. And let's see. So 200 LT. I don't know if he's AFK or just hasn't been spotted yet. The IS-7 is definitely what shot at me earlier when I was over um, dealing with the 62. I think probably the play here would be to rotate around and clear out some of the other tanks. Or I, I don't think our E-75 is going to be alive much longer, given his HP. But maybe, just maybe, I can support him from back here. We'll have to see. The T-2020 is kind of lost in Narnia. That's the only problem that I foresee right now. Okay, I-7 just fired. Dang it, that was a really important shot for me not to miss there. That's okay, it's good. The I-7's getting baited, baited by crossfires now. All right, one shot towards the... Okay, wow, that's just crazy. One more shot. There we go, perfect. 3.6k damage dealt so far. Whee! E-100, if it rolls average, can one-tap me here, so I should be a little bit careful of that. But fortunately for me, the E-100 also has a very long magazine reload time. So, one shot for the tracks. One more shot into the tracks. One more shot here. I should have enough time for one more shot before pulling back on safety. Love that gun. Now, the problem is there's a T-100LT yellowing it behind me, and, uh, yeah, he's definitely gonna clear me out here. Unfortunately. But let's see if we can still do a little bit of trolling to him. Alright, one high explosive shell. Very nice. One AP shell. As long as he doesn't high roll me, it should be good. One more shell here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Oh, I jammed to start too. As long as my teammates don't die, we should be okay. Maybe I should have focused the 100 because our Sheridan's yellowing in. I didn't think he was going to yellow in like this. Sheridan, you got to get close and circle him. Closer and circle, closer and circle, closer and circle. No, 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 no. You got to circle better than that, buddy. He's going to ricochet watch. Oh, he pens. Okay, good. Well, not a bad game. I think for the most part, I played that okay. So the t LT was just like out of the game for most of that battle, but I'll take it. Maybe about 5,000 or so damage dealt there. We'll have to see. 5,700 first class. Very nice. I think I did not too shabby in that game. Lots of rotating. Like that is the key to bat check gameplay is the rotations. You just gotta always kind of be rotating around to find the best spot for your tank. Dump that damage out, run away, dump that damage out, find a new crossfire. Uh, sometimes you can just sit back and snipe the whole game and get away with it, but for the most part, you gotta be pretty active. Sup, new nickname. Oh my gosh, Ribble! Good to see you, Ribble. Welcome, welcome. Uh, just a new press account nickname, Ribble. I still have his royal fatness. Just playing a press account today. <laughs> Great to see you, Ribble. Hope you're doing well, my dude. <laughs> Tog showcase when? Never. Oof, I don't like this. The enemy team have so many tanks over on this side. Watch. Alright, one blind shot. Two blind shot, three blind shot, and one more for good measure. Okay, let's see if any of those hit. Um, I'm gonna say negative TVP. I'm gonna say negative. You can see our teammates are kind of sitting back here. No, why did I? Wait, 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 wait. I still might have time for a shot or two here. Nice, 270. Okay, I'm gonna reload the mag and just tell them negative. Oh, 550, I did blind fire someone. So you see, I, dealt I had 550 damage on the counter there. So someone took a blind shot. Um, my team needs to know. Yeah. Like I said, with the bat chat, you want to avoid those crazy, nasty haul down engagements. That's why I'm saying, like, I we should not go med side. Like, look at their lineup. Look at what tanks they got. They're going to wreck med side with no problem. And there's nothing we can really do about that. Just because their tanks are really strong for that. So that's why I was saying, like, yeah, just, just, just take it easy, you know? All right. One shot to the 100 here. 
two shots into the 100 here. Three shots into the 100 here. And the blind shot missed, but I'll take it. We managed to deal some damage to the E100 there. And I'm probably gonna help our E4 start flanking soon enough because we're gonna be to be pretty fast in clearing out this side here. So the VZ should hopefully not spot me just yet. All right, one lower plate shot. Very good. One more lower plate shot. Nope, not quite. Doing my best from back here. There we go, another lower plate shot. And one more. Nice. I'm gonna help clear out the 100 and the VZ next, so. Very good, very good. We're gonna just do a little rotation here into the enemy spawn to recreate that lovely, good old fashioned crossfire. All right, one shot into this dude. One kill shot into this dude. And one kill shot into this dude. Nice. So we managed to pick up two kill shots there. Uh, we are gonna start losing tanks. So I'm gonna go back and retake corner once my camel's had a little bit of time to reset. All right, 3,000 damage or so dealt. Unfortunately, our 752 massively overextended. He got himself nuked out of the game, basically. Nice, but one shot to the 30B here. Two shots to the 30B there. We are getting some decent nukes off here from the crossfire angle. Oh, why did I reload? The shirting got spotted. I didn't even notice. Tunnel Vision Andy over here. Can you believe that? All right, three for three. I'm full. Evil Hunter's full for now, although he might get clipped in a moment. Um, VK is on 1200. I am the team's vision. I probably should be flanking right now instead of pushing in through the front, but oh well. Nothing I can do about that now. Is that TVP running all the way back? Yes, he is. Okay. So we know the TVP's out of the fight. 30B is one clip range, and I think the SDRV is also one clip range. And so is the Bashation, roughly one clip range. So, nice shot by the E4 there. Another shot making their batch out at one shot. Good news for me. I'm going to reload and I'm going to bum rush those dudes because we, me killing those dudes is going to be super clutch for my team. So, it's my time reloaded. Very, oh, dude, E4, excellent place by our E4 there. STRV is going to proxy me and I don't want to take a magazine from the, from the, there we go. I need to wait for the STRV to back up so I don't get proxied and clipped by the TVP. Nice. Okay. Let us commence, let us commence the bakery, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Hello! One shot. Two shot. Kill shot. Oh! No, the low rolls are insane! We should win the cap, if nothing else. Get him, boy! Get him! Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Good stuff. Okay. Where do you think the TVP went? We're gonna win the cap anyways, so I may as well yellow for that extra damage, because we are good. Yeah, that's why I made the rotation, right? You have to make those calls. I know I was abandoning our TVP and STB there, but we did not stand a chance. Um, trying to hold there and especially not with the four shot bat shot gun It just was not logical for me to try and take that fight Which is why I ended up yelling the opposite direction because I could just put myself in a position to crossfire out their players It would be problem solved. All right Very nice There we go, right rotate it out stayed alive Put myself in a position to farm tanks that I could shoot the sides of or at least like big lower plates and then rotate back to med side when necessary. And by doing that, I was able to farm almost five and a half thousand damage, ace the tank, pick up four kills, right? All that good stuff. Um, and it's those little decisions that you just have to get good at making the bat shot. I know it can feel really dirty sometimes, like running away from an ally or two, but you should always try and prioritize your survival. Where is your cat? I got you, Ribble. I got you. I reveal to you. The cat. Yes. Uh Oh, no, 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 don't leave Bobby. Ah! Oh, I, I just scared her away. Sorry, Bobby. Yes, I always I always play with a blanket on my lap so Bobby can get all get all cozy because she likes she likes kind of bundling up. <laughs> if you're wondering. And yes, I do play cross-legged. I don't know how my ankles are not busted by now. Okay, let's see. In theory, we should be good on med side, but I'll spot up for the start and see what I can do from there. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see if I spot anyone. Okay, there's the 30B who does not have the ability to spot me. That's a Yag. Okay. And my team's kind of split here. The Yag did curve towards town though. So I'm going to see if I can do this, the big sneaky. Yep, I think we can do the big sneaky. All right, 30B. One shot to the 30B here. Two shots to the 30B here. Three shots to the 30B here. Four shots to the 30B here. Two ricochets from him as well. And we do bring him down 
to a lot of, well, very few hit points. He's dead. Nice. Catch the 30 BL guard there. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Uh, yeah, my bad. Sorry about that. Uh, well, I just gamed on a 30B. Um, that's all you need to know. I gamed on a 30B. I am so sorry. I forgot to switch the camera back. How absolutely silly of me. Oh my gosh, that was so dumb. Not as dumb as this 405 though. Buddy is getting cooked. Buddy has been cooked. He's been deep fried. <laughs> That's a face gameplay. I'm so sorry. That was my bad. Oh my goodness. You just get to see my what it's like when I play though, I guess. I mean, you might have seen a quarter of the screen there, right? It's probably a bad rotation for me to make, by the way. Whoop. That's the sound of me putting myself into a crossfire. Ooh, the 183 did just shoot though. He totally just fired his gun. Boink. I believe in bat chat supremacy. I believe in the bat chat, the bat chat supremacy. All right, it's one other shot into this dude. Oh, I'm baiting everyone. Dude, these TDs have to be balded. They've just been baited like three times. Them in the VK collectively. Holy smokes, man. What a meme. He left the hacks on. I did. Well, you actually got to see a little bit of my uh, what my face looks like when I'm game when I'm gaming over here. Hi. Please, please don't hash me. That'd be so mean of you. Ow, that's so mean. Hello, Yag. Please don't bother with me. I do not exist, I promise to you. I am nothing more than a mere figment of your imagination, good Yag Panza. Alright, lovely. Hello, VK. How do you do? One shell to you there. One more shell to you there. One more shell to you there. One more, and you're dead. Goodbye. Right? You're dead, right? Okay. <laughs> What's wrong with the gun, actually? Actually, not a whole lot. It just has less alpha. Um, it takes a lot longer to deal the damage than the three shot. It has worse accuracy than the three shot. It has worse premium penetration than the three shot. Like, those are the only bad things, really. Um, what it does have is just kind of a meme amount of clip potential. Uh, good HE shells, I would say, for the most part. And it does have better DPM and better AP pen. The better AP pen actually makes a huge difference. Uh, 4.8k damage there. Nice, nice little battle. <laughs> it's not a blitz live stream. It's a narration. <laughs> Fat is trolled stream. I'm sorry. And you didn't even see, dang, you guys didn't even see me gaming on the 30B. How silly of me. I didn't even put my camera back to its proper place. Ah, yeah, yeah. I got distracted with Bobby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, TJ is, ugh. buddy, uh, buddy got swole. <laughs> <laughs> Fat is using. I was visualizing. Vi <laughs> it was visualization training chat to imagine the battlefield without seeing the screen. Oh my gosh. How silly of me. Bat chat. T oh gosh. Bat. Okay. They have too many lights for me to really take the hill. If I had speed boost, I would consider it. But because I don't have speed boost, I cannot accelerate up the hill fast enough here. So what I'm going to do is take it kind of easy. And, um. See if I can get some early shots $1 in here. One shot. Cents from oh, I hit the track escape. shot. Let's go. Should I run rammer or calibrated on the w. 100? Um, honestly, rammer or calibrated on the 100. I'm trying to remember. The thing is, is without calibrated, the 100 heat pen can be kind of sus, especially since you're so slow. You're forced into those long, like slow heavy tank engagements. Um, so I generally tend to run. Hmm, that, oh, okay, what the heck spotted me? I generally would, I think I run calibrated, but man, I don't know. With that reload calibrated is very suspect. Not gonna lie. There's the 183. Well, that's good news. We know the 183's positioning at least. Nothing else. Uh, some 5-2's positioning as well. Frog's positioning. Probably not the best scenario for me here to farm damage out. But I have a plan. One shot. APCR for the clear here. Very nice. Clear on this dude as well. Not quite, but we will clear him next. Nice. There we go. Two kills with one mag. Oh, it's already game over. Their whole team's dead. Would you look at that? Their whole team is already dead. Wow. Don't you just think uh, Middleburg is like the most pog map in the game, guys? I'm looking forward to getting 183 here. One shot. Two shot. 
three shot. Let's go. Maybe I can get one more shot and see Mr. 183 as well. Nice. Good stuff. Only 2.4k damage. Maybe one of the lower damage games on stream today. It could be the lowest, but dude, it was a minute and 50 seconds to 7-0 the enemy team. As you can see, uh, the game went really well. Uh, he's real sick, by the way. Thank you for the donation. Um, yeah, I don't know what I run on the 100, to be honest. I think I ran calibrated because I wanted the heat pen, but I also think I might have swapped the rammer because the DPM is so trash without it. It's hard to say. Uh, good job to our STB. Good STB map. Not the best for the bat trap, but we did okay over there. <laughs> it happened, bro calling me out. Huh? Hey, hey, good day. Hey, good day, Wrench Jeff. Hope you're doing well. Fatness to fatness using thins is because of the bat chat stock gun is built like a A10 gun with it being dangerously troll, but painful to have to fight. Maybe. Good to see you, buddy. Gotta go. Thank you, Ribbles. Great seeing you. You take care, my dude. <laughs> Wait, did I say Milberg? Oops. Uh, dog, you heard nothing. Don't make fun of me, please. It's really mean. Uh, I meant to say not Middleburg. What I meant to say was mines. <laughs> About M16, depends on your stream, and it's nice. I'm glad you're enjoying it. And like I say, with the M16 pattern, both are just really good. And there's just minor differences that can go into the preference of which one you prefer. And, the, and really, the sole reason why I prefer the M60 is because it has better odd movement dispersion. Or, or pattern, sorry, M48 pattern. That's why I actually ended up liking it more. The gun was slightly more snappy in brawls, whereas the M60 is more accurate once aimed in. And it was just that little difference that caused me to fall for the... Um, the patent over the M60. I know it sounds silly, but that's just how things are. Anyhow, looks like the enemy team ain't here. Or if they are, they're being very passive in town. And there is one of their TDs in the flank here. I'm just gonna spot up this inside, see if I can get some crossfires on anyone who is overextended. Not quite. Gotta be careful, they could have a lot of tanks in the back of their spawn, but if I play this outright, I might be able to get a good crossfire here. I had a feeling their team probably wouldn't go town, which is why I made this play. It's still kind of risky. This dude's AFK, right? I'm gonna assume he's AFK. And let's just see if there's someone I can farm up instead. All right, quick shot to this man's. Another quick shot to this man's. Another quick shot to this man's. Another quick shot to this man's. There we go. Okay, XM just woke up. That's fine. I'm fine with that. I had a feeling he was AFK and just set his device down because he was like loaded into the battle there. But we did manage to nuke the Sheridan, so that's the good news. And we might manage to nuke this tortoise as well. So one shot to the tortoise there. Yo is blocking my next shot. Very nice, yo. Third shot. Yo, you, you really... Wow, thanks, yo. Okay. <laughs> the yo really did just sit there and block my shells. What a, what a lad. Okay. Let's see what we can do now. We're gonna wait it out for a moment, though. Ooh. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Don't tell me it's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, boy. Let's get that free damage. It don't hurt. It don't hurt to get up a little bit of free damage, does it now? Oh, gosh. The game's over. The game is over. And this dude's about to get just trashed up the rear. So, it's kind of crazy when you think how short this tank's magazine reload is. It's, like, only a few seconds long. <laughs> it feels like it's very short, which, I mean, it is. And this dude's about to go bye-bye, so GG. Well, my team... Actually played like Chad's on A side. That never happens. I don't know how it happens. Uh, but my team won A. I usually don't like playing A from that spawn because it's really hard to hold and win. But allies were just gaming, I guess. Like, what? Shout out to a T30. They did more damage than me there, and I I put like 900 damage into an AFK. <laughs> Uh, one side of games go burr. Oh my gosh, Wrench Jeff for the 10 gifted members. Thank you so much, Wrench Jeff. If you in the chat, happen to receive a membership from Red Chef just now. Make sure to send your thanks into the chat. Really do appreciate the support, Wrench Jeff. Hope you're doing well. Um, what's your opinion on the 4005? I don't really like it. Yo, Haxi, you're gifted a membership. Haxer, you got a membership. Let's go. Okay. Leo, Vickers, Centurion, me, Amex 30 Prototype, and E50M. In theory, we are somewhat equally matched. However, the difference lies in them having a Chieftain Mark VI and a Type 71, which very easily, on a whim, decide to go med side. So, I'm going to see if I can spot that up first. 
Before committing to a med fight, I always like to try and get that information to see where their team is. I originally was going to go med side, but for now, I'd rather just spot up, see if I can find any of their heavy tanks. And we do find one of their heavy tanks. A wild BZ has been spotted. Let's put a quick shot onto this BZ here. Very nice. He did spot me up. I'm... That is 224 meters away, by the way. I totally just did not get spotted from 220 meters. That's crazy. Holy smokes, man. That BZ must be running on 50% crew or something. What? <laughs> no way. He didn't spot me from 225 or so meters. Because I guess he was slightly behind the wall. But it's still like 225 meters away. Dang. Tank's camo rating goes burr. Okay, well, that's 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 the benefit of light tanks, right? Not many tanks can get away with that type of stuff. Anyhow, their team seems to be pretty split up here. And we know the BZ has dog water view range, apparently. So I'm going to get ready to rotate back for the BZ. Let's see if our E50 gets spotted here. He does, so the BZ is still up there. One shot to his lower plate. And since it only takes me 13 seconds, I'm going to go for the reload and immediately pressure this BZ here on, with a full magazine. At least that is my plan. So... BZ should be turning around to deal with the E50 here soon enough. Lovely stuff. Boop, one shot to the BZ. Boop, two shots into the BZ. Boop, three shots into the BZ. And there is still a whole reback here, but I'm going to reload my magazine once more. Because it runs... It's only a 13-second magazine reload. It's worth. This whole is also stuck in a ditch. It might not be worth it. This dude could get nuked before I get a chance to actually farm him, but it's fine. If Even if I get one more shot in because of this, it's worth it. Okay, well, kinda. I got an extra 50 damage in. Alright, let's reload and pressure in again. Da -da 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 -da. Our crown wagon's running away for the for the for his life here, but he does not want to die. But Buddy is not ready for the Chad Bashatian to pull up and start clipping him. Two shot. Three shot. Four shot. That is over a thousand damage in the magazine there, and now I can pull back into safety. Lovely stuff. And we can just continue the process of poke and pull back. I, I, I might be kind of crazy, but I do very much low-key like this gun. Call me insane. Where's that Leo at? Where did the Leo go? There's Leo. Alright, one HE shell. Two HE shell. Three HE shell. Dude is completely lost. Um, and one more HE shell. No, dude! I hate this thing's gun elevation. That is definitely a drawback of the bat shot, is its lackluster gun elevation. I could have had a very saucy HE clip there, but I, I don't messed it up, man. I don't messed it up big time. Still, we should be able to pretty much clear out this type here. There's not a whole lot I can do about this scenario. And we win to cap, if nothing else. Oh, yeah. Well, we just, that was the last dude. Easy game. <laughs> What's your opinion about the tank Object 777? It's pretty good. Pretty good. It's honestly not my favorite, but I do think it's a very, very solid tier 10. Uh, heavy tank and there isn't really all that many problems with it all right all right it's been hour and 27 minutes so about an hour and a half of bat chat gameplay i think we cooked really hardcore today in the bat chat i'm happy with that um yeah stock gun does the job let's real quickly though just to end it off we'll we'll throw out an example game with the bat chat running the three shotgun just just for comparison's sake and hopefully this game goes well and we will see on the other hand what the top gun is like <laughs> imo second gun is better oh it should be better but i find this gun to be very fun to play two and a half second intra clip also is a lot nicer than 2.8 it uh it's it's wise to haul, haul block teammates to keep them alive one shot or is it better to conserve hp depends on the scenario if you need that extra gun absolutely need it and you have the hp to spare then sure um, but if you're just throwing away hit points in a scenario that's very dire and it's better for you to pull back into safe, then that's definitely the right play to make. They'll go back to real gun. <laughs> yes, 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 dragon. We got to get a game in with the real gun before I end things off for today. So this is what the normal bat chat is like. And look how much faster that aim time is. The gun handling is just a world better with this gun. Anyways, I should be able to spot everything pulling up to the side. So let's just wait it out. Do, 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 do. All right, and so there's the M60 Patton. Boop, 338 for the first shot there. 392 for a second shot there. 
And we missed our third because I suck at aiming. That actually wasn't the gun's fault. I just thought he was going to continue backing up. And so I over aimed behind him there. Okay. Patton's getting getting a, a bit of an unpleasant experience right now. He does have an M103 to fight on that side. Let me see if I can spot up over here a little bit. It is a bit risky, but I think most of their team's sitting back. So I might be able to do the big brain play here. Alright, one shot into the object. Very nice. That's Sheridan awake. Oh, he totally is. Managed to angle up the hall there for the ricochet. His poggers. Look at the accuracy difference. It's actually crazy. Like, just having that lower aim time and dispersion and everything. Well, I mean, the dispersion's not too much different, but the lower aim time makes a huge difference for how this tank's gun performs. Like, a huge difference. Alright, this dude should not be able to spot me, really. Put a quick shot into him there. Very saucy indeed. There's the Sheridan yellowing through. The, the BZ should be on a reload still. Actually, I'm just going to reload my gun. How's my team doing on heavy side? They're doing okay. Okay is all. And let's just start reloading here. So, what I need to do is help my team clear out the Sheridan and BZ, I think. That's probably going to be the best play for me to make at the moment. So, I'm going to start working down this Sheridan here momentarily. All right. Oh my gosh. The BZ just got hatched through the lower plate. R.I.P. BZ there. All right. One shot into the Sheridan here. Boop. Enter clip reload consumable active. Boop. Nice. Got a few more shots into him. He is now practically dead. And hopefully this BZ gets taken out by the T100 LT in a moment. While I'm on my reload and we can rotate around. Good stuff. Well played. Okay. Yeah. The three shot definitely stole the gun to go on the bat chat. Like you can just see the difference in accuracy. It really does make a world of difference. Okay. 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 We have a lot of two shots. That we can set up the deal as primary targets for now should be the T30 concept I can put a shell into here. The primary goal for me right now is also to not bleed if I don't have to. Let's put a quick shot to this man's here. Oh, I hit his gun. That's unfortunate. I have a 1A3 for cover fire. The T100 LT is kind of in Narnia. I'm going to save my magazine for the, the 777 pulling around behind us here. Hopefully he shoots the other dude. Alrighty, I need my hit points, that's why. Alright, up. Oh. You can totally pick up a clear on this dude at least. I do need to make sure I have some support over here. Oh boy, that's not good. Um. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh my. Oh my gosh, our T100 LT, man. Why didn't he just rotate back with us? We totally could have taken that if we had his DPM to help us on the flank. I probably shouldn't have pushed in there. I should have just ran away and played the long game. But like, my 1A3 is on pretty much full HP. The T100 was on full HP and, and in the vicinity. If he just set up to like, cover fire us and helped me clear the T30 out and helped me clear the 777 out, then we probably could have won. Still got 5k damage out there. I do want to get a win in the bat shot, but... I mean, did well. My team, not really the best. Our 1 cooked pretty pretty okay there, though. That was kind of a rip. There just wasn't much I could do in that scenario. 2 and 5D, 2 and 5B better. E5 easier to get most out of. No go. <laughs> oh, you're talking about E5 versus 2 and 5B? Yeah. I would say, I would say the 2 and 5B is better in the right hands, but is a lot more situational. Whereas the E5 is a little bit more just universally easy to play, and there's a lot more maps for it. Okay, let's go. I want one decent cooking game. Although, we still did about 5k damage that battle, so not too shabby. I'll have to watch out. They have a TVP. TVPs are a bit of a nightmare to deal with in any tank, but in a bat chat, they can take off about three quarters of my HP if I'm not careful. Um, so, it's always important to prioritize those ratty little TVPs. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Very good, sir. Very good, sir. 500 for 1,000. That was an excellent TVP trade. Good autoloader syndrome. Oh, actually, I low rolled. I have 1050 alpha and I rolled 970. What is that low roll? Yo, that's kind of crazy. Okay, I got a little bit of scam there. Not gonna lie. XM. There we go. One shot to the XM here. Two shots to the XM here. Do you see why three shot bat shot is just an absolute menace? Like, XM barely made a mistake. Well, he did make a mistake, but it was like... Most of the time, you could get away with it back up like that and turning. But since I was able to hit the double track shots and catch them on fire, because that thing has a huge fuel tank, it was just Jover for him so fast. All right. No, the gun depression is so weird to work on an angle like that. Let's reload. Wait, they're 57's dead? Eh? How? How is he dead already? Buddy, like, 
just spawned in. Oh, don't tell me. And poke it, poke it, poke it. Mm, STRV. A young BZ is over here as well. Let me wait for this BZ to shoot, or maybe I'll farm the E3 on his crossing first. All right, one shot into the E3. Two shots into the E3. Let's reload the mag in case the BZ be yellowing for me. It does not look like he is. BZ's yellowing the opposite direction. BZ also just fired. The 183 is currently in a position to shoot some of my other allies, I think, right now. So let's just uh, let's go teach this BZ a young, a, a little little lesson. About why you do not mess with the Bashathion. <laughs> hey, bye. Have a nice day. <laughs> and I'm out of here. All right, 263 should have the 183. Nice. And my teammates are cooking and spun. That should be about it. Uh, I don't know if I got about 3k damage out there. Or 50b went AFK, it looks like. But he just is like, we win. I give up. Um, let's see if I'm fast enough to maybe farm this E3 here. I hope, I hope I will be fast enough to farm the E3, but we'll see. I'll probably get, maybe if I'm lucky, one shot into the E3. But that wasn't too bad, right? Lots of little rotations there. It's just crazy. You catch one tank off, and it's just over for them. And this dude should die to me, I think. There we go. Four and a half thousand damage. Boom. Yeah, so that's like what the three-shot bat shot's like. And definitely it's better. It is better. It might not be as fun at times, but if you want to, if you want it to cook, do just that alpha damage. And, um... The amount of damage you're dealing with the amount of times you have to peek versus the four shots a lot better for its playstyle. So you're not having to expose yourself as much to deal less damage per shot, right? Um, so four and a half thousand damage that game. That one was pretty simple. Good old stuff. And that's the bash shot you want in a nutshell, right? You got a couple of games with a three shot in there as well. Um, but yeah, bat shot is easily the strongest tier 10 light. Out of all the tier 10 light tanks we have right now, currently the bat shot, I would say, is on the broken side of things. It just has too much view range, too much alpha, too much DPM, too much um, accuracy on the three shot in particular, too much mobility. All of it combined, it's just a little bit too much of everything. Uh, I'm sure eventually Wargaming will probably nerf the bat shot. So if you do want a bat shot, probably play it while it's broken because it's really good right now. And if you just learn the basics of auto loader light gameplay, you'll find it to be very fun. I would say probably the second best light tank would probably go to the Sheridan. Uh, just because it has that alpha damage and good mobility. Uh, and it can't really be HE'd all that easily. So Sheridan and T100 LT for me would take the second place. I think they're... And the T100 LT is still a very good light. Then it would probably go to the WZ and Vickers. Tied for the worst, I would say. Um, maybe the WZ being slightly better because of its mechanic and its alpha. But yeah, there we go. Fun stuff. Good old Bashatheon shenanigans. I... Quite enjoyed myself. Uh, we had a few 6k games, we had a few mid to high 7,000 damage games, um, and it's just really, really perfect for this meta. So, good stuff. Okay, what am I gonna stream next? Next time, I'm probably not gonna stream tomorrow. I have some events planned tomorrow, so I would like to keep tomorrow scheduled open. But we just finished the bar shot the on, and let me look at my list of streams. Mm. Maybe I do the Progetto. I think it's been a while since I streamed the Progetto, so I'll probably do the Progetto next. If that sounds cool to you guys. Anyways, that is going to be it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for dropping by today's live stream. It was great having you here. Thank you very much, everyone, for the donations and Wrench Jeff for the 10 gifted subs. Do appreciate that. Thanks for the mods for dropping by here and there. And for everyone who smashed that like button and just everyone for joining and being active in chat. It's always great to see you guys here. I know I don't read all of the messages, but I try and glance at chat as often as I can while focusing on my gameplay. Uh, but if I missed your messages, sorry, I will uh, see if I can <laughs> try and pay more attention next time. But we'll see. That's going to be it for me today. You guys have a great rest of your weekend. I'll probably see you Monday or Tuesday, hopefully by Monday. Uh, and until next time, take care and peace.